Hello everyone. In this video, we will look in for two problems which are related to chapter number two. So the first problem says, how many meiotic divisions are required to form twenty seeds? Now, first of all, you must know that for how a seed is formed. So a seed is formed because it has an embryo inside. So that embryo basically is formed by the fusion of one male gamete. and that fusion happens with one egg right so we will find out first how many meiotic divisions will be required to form the male gamete and then we will calculate how many meiotic divisions are required to make the female gamete so you know that microspore mother cell or the cell that has to form the pollen grain it will divide by meiosis and it will form how many pollen grains four and all of them stay functional one pollen grain then divides internally to form vegetative cell and generative cell with their nucleus generative cell with generative nucleus divides with further mitotic divisions and then from this one male gamete is formed so of course we will be getting four pollen grains from one mmc right so we will be for forming 20 seeds of course we will be re requiring 20 pollen grains with one meiotic division how many pollen grains do we get yes we get four pollen grains that means for making 20 pollen grains how many meiotic divisions will be required simple take the value 20 divided by 4 because one meiosis is producing four pollen grains so answer will be five meiotic divisions means five meiotic divisions will be required to form 20 male gametes right now we will look in for the female gamete now mega spore mother cell it also underwent meiosis four megaspores were formed out of which three degenerated and only one was functional this megaspore ultimately give rise to one egg that means one meiosis or one meiotic division will produce one egg so of course for making 20 seeds we would be requiring how many eggs yes we will be requiring 20 eggs and that means one meiosis is forming one egg so we will be requiring 20 meiotic divisions for making 20 female gamete now very easy we have done the major part we will see the calculation now see this was the calculation we did it for the male gamete this is the calculation which we have done for the female gamete so very easy now just do the total add 5 to 20 and the value will become 25 that means we will be requiring 25 meiotic division to form 20 seeds now let's quickly recapitulate the same concept by taking another example of 40 seeds so you need to find out the meiotic divisions that will be required to form 40 seeds so again for 40 seeds you will be requiring male gamete and female gamete as well so how many pollen grains will be required you will be requiring 40 pollen right so for 40 pollen to happen how many meiotic divisions will happen we will divide this value of 40 by 4 and this will give us the answer of 10 meiotic divisions means when 10 meiotic divisions will happen then 40 pollens they will be received now let's find out for the female gamete we require 40 x for 
40 seeds to be there with us. Now, one meiotic division forms one functional egg as we have discussed in the above example. So, that means for 40 seeds, how many meiotic divisions will be required? 40 meiotic divisions because one meiotic division is forming just one egg. And when one egg fuses with one male gamete or one pollen, then only a seed is there with the embryo. So, we have calculated the major part. Now, we have to add on the values this to this and our answer will become 10 plus 40 makes 50. That means for forming 40 seeds, we require 50 meiotic divisions to happen. The another type of problem which is basically asked in the boards is this type of which is written in problem 2. If a plant has 20 chromosomes in its roots or vegetative parts, how many chromosomes will be found in its pollen, egg and endosperm? Remember here the word keyword is roots or the vegetative parts and the roots or the vegetative parts, they contain the somatic number. Means they are diploid. Only gametes are haploid, right? So, 20 means 2n is given to you. Now, it is very easy because you know that pollen and egg, they are the examples of the gametes. And gametes always contain half the number of chromosomes to that of the somatic cells. So, simply take the value of 20 chromosomes at the top and divide it by 2 and your answer will be 10. That means 10 chromosomes will be there in the pollen. 10 chromosomes will be there in the egg. Now, you know the value of n here. The value of n is 10 here, right? Because this was the 2n value which you have taken at the top when you have divided it by 2. It has given the half number and half number is always the haploid because the needs always are formed by the result of meiosis. Now, endosperm, when I was explaining about endosperm at that time, I said that it is triploid because three haploid nucleus, they are fused together and this makes the ploidy level of an endosperm to be 3n. Now, you already know the value of n. You just need to put in here 3 multiplied by 10. It will give you 30 chromosomes. So, such type of basic questions which are very, very easy. They are scoring. So, go through them very attentively. Thank you.